Yes, yes, guys. Three goals, three points. Top of the league. Manchester City carrying on from where we left off at the end of last season. I can't lie, guys. I'm really, really happy with that performance. I thought it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. As I said in the watch-along and the player ratings, you could have forgiven the team if they, maybe they were a little bit rusty or whatever. It's the first game of the season. You're playing Burnley at Turf Moor, Friday night, the whole world watching it. Everyone's probably thinking, you know, this, is, this screams like a potential upset. It just wasn't the case at all. City dominated every single metric. We dominated the ball. We passed the ball well. You know what I mean? The, 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 the tempo of the game was very good. I thought the intensity in our play and our attacks was also very good. And even when we got some bad news, we looked at Kevin De Bruyne got subbed off because he was injured after 20 minutes. Didn't really phase us. We, we probably went through about five or 10 minute period after Kevin De Bruyne went off where we was a little bit sloppy, couldn't really hold the ball. And as soon as Kovacic and uh, Phil Foden started getting their act together, we, we just got back on it again, you know what I mean? And we look very, very good. We look very, very strong. We do look very, very strong and very, very happy with it. Um, you know, you're going through some players like Kyle Walker, I thought was absolutely phenomenal, guys. I thought it was really, really good. And you can see exactly why Pep Guardiola was so desperate to keep him and why we as City fans wanted him to stay because he can put performances in just, just like he did yesterday. I thought Phil Foden was amazing. Rodri, oh my God, I mean... I just don't know how much we can keep talking about him because every single time he steps onto the football pitch, he just puts in a 10 out of 10 performance. He was out of this world, a goal and assist, and he only misplaced three passes in the whole game. And one of them was a long ball. Um, he was amazing. Haaland, again, continuing from where he left off. His second goal was just, oh my day, honestly, guys. I, you sort of run out of adjectives to describe the guy. You know, he's that good. Um, I even watched a couple of... Um, couple of like shows back yesterday after the game and you know you've got United fans even saying this guy's a joke you know what I mean he's he's it's just so so good you know if he stays fit you've always got a chance of winning every competition you're in because he, he is just that good um unfortunately for the rest of the league fortunately for us of course but you know um defensively very very good Ake again very strong thought he was excellent um, Akanji thought he did all right you know what I mean not the best probably one of the rustier players on the football pitch. Gavardi all came on, obviously got 10 minutes, which, you know, didn't really do too much, but he made a fantastic run into the box. Someone's actually commented on my video from last night and said, um, go back and have a look at his first touch. I've not managed to get to, to, to have a look at that, but apparently it was very, very good. So he come on, he, he looked decent. Cole Palmer obviously got a few minutes as well, but probably looks like he's going to be loaned out, to be honest. I think news coming out this morning that West Ham um, are going to increase their... Um, interest in Cole Palmer, but listen, top of the league, three points couldn't be better, really. You know, what I mean, we go to Greece now and um, we got the Super Cup, see if we can get our hands on that. Arsenal play later on. I'm going to do a watch along for the Arsenal game if you want to join me for that one and um, see how they got on with their, with their first game of the new season. And then obviously, the Liverpool Chelsea game. I don't know, you guys have seen what's going on with this Caicedo thing, yeah, but it's absolutely wild. Apparently, Chelsea want the deal done by tomorrow so that they can parade uh, Caicedo in front of the Liverpool fans, mate. That would just be absolutely unreal. So, um, yeah, we will see. We'll see if that happens. But, yeah, on the whole, don't think I'm going to continue this video for much longer because there's not really much other stuff to go through. I thought we were very good, very efficient, and uh, just, yeah, pretty much very similar to last year, you know, just carrying on from where we left off, just continue that performance now. Um I, kind of, I do want to win the Super Cup, so let's go again in the Super Cup. But let's just keep moving. You know what I mean? One game at a time, as, as we always say. Erling Haaland did the interview after the game yesterday and didn't seem in any rush. You know what I mean? To, to, to you know, He just said everyone's relaxed. And that's how that's how you got to be. You know, the first game of the season, you start looking too far ahead. You know, this, this is a long season, eight months. You know what I mean? you got play, probably City will probably play 60 games this year. You know what I mean? So we can't look too far into the future. So let's focus on ourselves one game at a time. But honestly... I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. Um, much better than I thought. But yeah, there we go. I will be doing a live watch along for the Arsenal game. If you want to join me, you've got nothing else to do on uh, on this Saturday midday. I don't know what the weather's doing. I don't think it's going to be too good here in Manchester. So if you fancy it, come and join me. Half past 12. I'll go live probably 15, 20 minutes before the game. And um, yeah, guys, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me your thoughts on yesterday's performance down below in the comment section. And I'll see you in the watch along. See you in a bit.